All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And uh, like I said, man, my boy, my boy heard y'all's overwhelming cry for him back to come back to the gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, Cap, Cap feeling the love, man. Hey, look, check out, check this out real quick, man. Unofficial, uh, this is an unofficial, um, what do you call it? Me and my man gonna try to get the podcast going tonight with Brutal Sim. Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked than me. But look, one thing I need to tell y'all real quick, if you have not seen, like the video, number one. If you like the t-shirts that, that you see me wearing, make sure... You know, like the video, let me know what size you wear, and uh, you know, we're gonna go from there, man. But look, if you have not seen the film Dolomite, if you never saw Dolomite before, you can still watch it. Or if you never seen the human tornado or any of this stuff right there, you can still watch it. Go on Netflix and watch the Eddie Murphy Dolomite movie. Man, that joint is hilarious. Especially if you grew up on Dolomite like I did. Way down in the jungle deep. Badass lion stepped on the signified monkey's feet. He said, monkey face, I can't you see? When you standing on my God. Hey, y'all finish it out. Anyway, look, man, if you grew up on Dolomite, if you know anything about Dolomite, even if you don't, it doesn't matter. Just go check it out, man. That is a that's a great film. It's a funny movie. Got my dog Wesley Snipes and Eddie Murphy in it and all that. Hey, I wish I was getting paid for a plug, man, but you know, uh, I'm not. So it is what it is. Hey, before we go any further, man, I want to tell y'all something, man. My guy, All City, has a has an awesome video up, up, out about badges passes passive badges and should you equip them make sure you go over there that link is down in the description like i said he always does awesome videos man that guy i'm he's starting to make it he just got to keep at it keep pushing push through the little the little bs that you have to go through to get into the 2k community and get recognized after that it's gonna be smooth sailing my guy hey but look that's not what we're here to talk about right now what we're here to talk about right into the news. Boom! NBA 2K is free on Xbox for the next couple of days. You know I had to crop my email a lot. I can't have no weirdos trying to email me or nothing. But look, unrivaled hardcore gamer. I guess that's what it says. Hey, Xbox free play days. A new NBA season unlike any other is finally underway. Experience the <clears throat> let me get my let me get my my promoter voice. Experience the new NBA for yourself with the NBA 2K20 free to play weekend only on Xbox with Gold Service. Try it, love it, and keep it for your collection for up to 33% off the retail price. Now go, I mean now through Monday. Hey, look, man. So look, pretty much what they're saying is um, like somebody like me, if I got the game, I want to play the game, you get to play the game, you play it this weekend, if you like it, it's going to be $20 off, so that's why they're saying up to 33, up to 33% off, man, I don't know why this, why this mixtape always gets mixed in my music, but you know it is what it is, so if you don't have 2K, if you're on the fence about it, and all of that good stuff, now would be the time to, uh, try it out, especially if you if you've got, if you've got an Xbox or what have you, man. Um, now, one thing I will tell you about it is uh, 2K thinks they're slick. Because even though the game is free, you can't do a damn thing in the game without paying. Like, who's going to make a my player and try to grind them up from 60? Like, you're going to put some money in the game. What's you going to do, play my team? The only thing that you can play in the game for free is quick play. Are you going to... Is, is anybody really going to play quick play all weekend and just say... I mean, I guess... I mean, you can do that in the demo. But I, I don't know, man. They think they're slick. They, they're looking like, okay, we're going to get a free $50 off people. And then after they put their 50 in the game, we want them to buy the game. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead. And uh, that's, that's why it's discounted. Now, the free days would not benefit me at all because y'all, yo, you guys want me to play with you all, right? So if you guys want me to play with you all, then I have to drop money on the game and all that. I might as well buy the entire thing. So it would, it would behoove me to buy the game while the game is, uh, you know, 33% off or what have you. Or I can just wait the Black Friday, roll the dice, and hope that, and hope that it's, uh, it's gonna be 50% off on Black Friday. Last, last year it was like $30 off, like, maybe in November or something like that. So I think I'm, what do y'all think I should do? Should I go ahead and get it now while I got a guaranteed $20 off? Or should I roll the dice, 
to Black Friday, see if I can get some uh, savings or what have you. Y'all let me know, what are you gonna do? If you got it on both systems, you got let me know what you're gonna do. Cap, let me know what I should do. Anyway, on to the next story, the next email that they sent me, and they've sent you these guys too, so you know. Hey, NBA Global Championships, the Global Championships, don't miss your chance to participate in the NBA 2K20 Global Championships. Register for a chance to, I mean, to compete for up to 115,000 rules and restrictions apply. So pretty much what it's just telling you is, look, man, um, season qualify uh, 2K. And like I said, you, if you check your email that's associated with it, you'll see it. The first stage of qualifying for the NBA 2K20, I mean, the NBA 2020 NBA 2K League draft is underway now, now through Sunday, November the 10th. This is your chance to make the league in season three and compete for a total prize pool of 1.4 million dollars so i mean all this stuff man is is it is what it is season three qualify you know win 50 games we already aware of all this stuff man uh the global championship like bro we we know about all of this um again we know that people don't really have a fair chance to make it we know that to a large degree they already know who they want to me and i'm gonna just tell you i mean look here it is you know you play season three there's the qualifier you got the pro-am and all that and then you can play rec or pro-am and ps4 or xbox to me to a large degree they already knew they in season one they knew who they wanted in season two they were just filling it out with more traffic cones and there's like two or three more stars we know timely cook is coming back uh, we don't know if Chalk is coming is going is gonna be there this time. Like we don't know. I feel like they already know who they want, and I think it's very rare if they're gonna pick up anybody new. I don't know how many more slots we have this time, and I don't know like if if they're just rotating now. Look, there are a lot of people that played last year that I feel like sucked, and they really didn't do anything, and that we could. I mean, anybody could have done what they did and stood there and been a traffic cone. But at the same time, when they called on you to score those thirty points because nobody's guarding you can you do that but in real comp sharpshooters don't get left open you might get one or two shots a game in real comp um you know it's very rare like like somebody would just be like hey yo jk shoot just leave him open and then continue to give me shots after i hit the first one after you hit the first or the second one bro it's like you're not it's really just y'all let me know if i'm wrong the 2k league is the first year it was just five out and and my shot creating slasher against your slashing shot creator or whatever and just see who can stop each other like a small four the second season was just which was last year was was really just uh it was four out but it was my guard and my center against your guard and your center and and to be honest man it's like you have to play like that because the other people are dedicated to playing like that. And if you don't get right, you're going to get left. You're not going to win. It's just it's nothing good is going to happen. And so it just feels like you're just watching. Like, it is it is good to watch. It's cool to watch sometimes. But a lot of times, like, when it gets to the point where all we're trying to do is see who can land the best screens, it's who center can set the best screens and who can roll the best. It ends up being, like, really boring. I feel like that's why the ratings are down. It's like, that's why my guy... Um, when my guy Coyote says, bro, if we just let, just, no, stop playing all this, play man to man and, and kill the pick and roll and let's see some people play real basketball. Like, I think it would be more exciting. Do y'all guys think it would be more exciting? Also leave your shirt. If you skip to the video, leave your shirt size down there if you want to win one of these shirts. And also, um, you know, let me know. What do you guys think? Do you think the NBA 2K league is kind of boring? Do you think it's good? Do you think, it, I mean, like, like, I guess if you're a comp player and you want to see what the best way to whip it behind your back and and use screens i guess it's gonna be exciting to you but otherwise i just I, it's not really exciting to me man I, I think that i look i think a lot of the wr games and stuff and and the even lower leagues where they try to play differently i think those games are are to some degree more entertaining i think the, the only thing that makes the 2k league you know what it is is just the names but anyway, man, y'all let me know down in the comments if that's what it is. I mean, I do like Barry the Beast, I ain't gonna lie. He tries to play different. He tries to do things differently. But, you know, once they get behind or once it gets going, you have to conform because if one player, if one person is playing like a freak boy, then all of us, it's just like, it was just like why I haven't played the game much this weekend. If one person is playing using the demigod, then everybody's going to feel like they have to do it because they're not going to lose to it. And then it's going to cause an epidemic. And, and you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> anyway, excuse me. On to our next story. Hey, look, man, if you're not a fan of Zach Timmerman, man, let me, let me tell y'all this right here.
His Twitter is a cornucopia of goodness. We got the one with a little girl. You know, she finally gets to see her mom for the first time because her eyesight was was uh, awful, and they put the baby glasses on, and she's just smiling and stuff like that. Ain't that awesome? Hey, we got this little kid right here taking off with the dunk. Hi, jump up. Get up, monkey. Bro, what is that? He just did. That's nuts. And then, hey, you know, he got all types of stuff, man. We got everybody being infected. This is my personal favorite where we got the, the hearing impaired dad talking to his baby. You know, he's saying, I love you. I love you. You know, hold on. Let me, let me, let me see. I'm daddy. I love you. Say your face is so beautiful. You just saw, I, yeah, I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. I only understand about half of it because my aunt is hearing impaired. And so, so I mean, you know, I understand most of sign language. I just can't get it all when they start snapping. Bo, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you have if you have family that's hearing impaired and then they start talking to each other and they start angrily talking and they start snapping, boy, you be like, yo, is this like they yelling? I don't know, man, but I love my aunt to death, man. But look though, this is what we want to talk to about, about Zach Timmerman. And his uh and the Twitter. One guy asked, <clears throat> "Do you know if they nerfed the worm badge because I can't do a success do one successful swim move anymore?" Zach Timmerman replies, "No changes have been made since the ship of since the ship for this badge." Okay, thanks. Look, bro, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't really know much about the worm badge. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh, I watched my guy Laker fan. Laker fan said, "Bro, you don't even need the worm badge. What you need to do." is make a, a smaller or a faster center and just sprint around people and just get the board like that. Use your vertical and your quickness to get boards. Uh, I think that the that, that badge is only really for big men, like big, big men that can't get around box outs and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what which one gives you the animation where you just reach and grab their shoulder and throw them out of the way and get the board if you're a big man. Like, But I think that only really works if you're guards or something like that. But I, I just don't know, man. Like... I don't know, man. Let's just be real. Can we be real for one minute? I'm going to let y'all get up out of here. Is the game in a good place? I know we got some events coming up this weekend. I haven't played any of the events. The only thing I did was I tried to play Call of Duty, and um, I realized that you can't move in that game. So I'm going to try to play that this morning. I'm probably streaming right now. Come check me out. But I don't know, man. Is the game going down the tube? Is it getting boring? Uh, what can they do in order to push the game back to where it was a couple of weeks ago. I feel like it was in its best state two weeks ago before Pats 1.06, I think it was, when not everybody could shoot, but not everybody could just go to the rim mindlessly and get buckets either. I think that's when it was in its best state, but um, then they just they dropped two more patches and they just killed the game. Even Pats 1.06, I was cool with it because at least you could, you could shoot consistently and you can still shoot consistently. They're just not, it's just like the ball goes in, but it ain't green all the time like I want it to be. And maybe that's just me needing to change my shot because because they changed the time and maybe they changed the game speed. Maybe I just have not played enough. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, we had one guy say he hitting 80% green, so maybe it is just me. Because when everybody else was saying they couldn't shoot, I could shoot. And I was like, hey, you know, maybe I just need to go out there and practice some more, man. I don't know. But y'all y'all think that's Cap, that he's shooting 80% greens. I don't know. Cap, what you think? Anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have an awesome weekend. I'm streaming right now on Twitch. Come check me out. Playing some Call of Duty, getting smacked and pasted up against the wall. And uh, I'm going to catch y'all next time, man. I really didn't have a whole lot, so I just, you know, came up with a couple of things to let y'all know uh but y'all have a great weekend play your free 2k don't be able to do nothing until next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ make sure y'all go check out all city video give me 500 likes on this joint and uh god speak